Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Mad Dog because I wanted to play some tactical missile gameplay and we are not playing advanced tactical missiles, we are playing LRMs here because I wanted to find my sweet spot within the team. I wanted a mech that is able to move fast enough to get to a close range, but not too close so that our missiles don't deal any damage anymore. But you know, finding that sweet spot about at about 300 meters to be able to shoot the missiles and the enemies are not able to get to cover. So we're gonna take a classic 60 ton heavy clan mech with this loadout here. And as you can see, it's asymmetrical. It is uh, tilted towards the right side a bit more. That has some reasons, but before we get into the nitty gritty details of that, I'm gonna show you what the mech has in general. And as you can see, we have four LRM-15 as our main weapons. We have five ER small lasers for point defense, and we also run a tag on top of a good chunk of ammo and cooling. Now, why did I put everything to the right side, Chorzo? The answer lies in the Omnipods. Of course, I could take something like um, the Mad Dog A left torso, the Mad Dog A right torso as well, or the B right torso. Both of them have enough hard points to kind of level the, the amount of missile... Uh, you know, hard points or the, the amount of missile launchers here, having two in each side torso. However, if you combine it like that, you will have the Mad Dog uh, A right torso, which gives you a base structure of seven. And then you can take a Mad Dog, for example, prime left side torso, that also gives you some quirks. And um, I didn't want to pass on the missile cooldown of 10%, the missile velocity of 5%, and then of course the base armor, which is also helping for a nice shield side here. So therefore, uh, we get some nice passes that can be added to the build and um, again, I know some people get triggered by it, not having uh, the, the LRMs kind of even out here, but I think number wise, this definitely makes more sense. Let's talk about the skills here for a second before we get into the games here. And as you can see, I put a lot of stuff into firepower. Of course, since we are a missile build, I wanted all the missile nodes. I wanted high explosive, missile spread and missile rack on top of the other stuff that you get here. Range is good for this, cooldown is good, and of course, heat management. I'm skipping the lasers because... Lasers are my backup weapons. I didn't really intend to fight with them so often and therefore didn't go for any laser duration. But what I did want is, again, more passives that help us out surviving, which is our survivability tree here. And we're going to take the left side, taking armor hardening, taking a bit of skeletal density so we can live a little bit longer. However, since we are a kind of a backliner, or let's say... A second liner, not really a back liner. I don't intend to stay all the way in the back. That's very important. I want some active LRM play here. But um, since we are a second liner, we can actually use our positioning skills to actually not really get hit so much. At any point, we can expose ourselves to absorb some damage for the team. But again, we don't need all the survivability. What we do need, though, is cool run. Because the DPS of the mech matters a lot. And I want to be able to shoot as often as possible to support the team with some shredding long-range missiles. We got all the cool run. We got all the heat containment as well as radar deprivation. Tag decay is super important when running lock-on builds because that helps you locking onto the target even if they have broken line of sight for a little longer. So that gives us plus two point uh Nah, plus 1.4 seconds, which is okay. And then we got double crucial plus a UAV. UAV, obviously, to get more passive locks. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Tourmaline Desert. We are playing Conquest. And what we need is logs, baby. By the way, for um, an LRM boat, very, very important lesson here, guys. You're responsible for your own logs. So if you don't get them, don't uh, piss off your teammates because they didn't take them for you or give them to you. So um, if there happens to be a log, then just gladly take it. But um, if there isn't, it's, it's kind of your fault. Quote unquote, your fault. Anyway, uh, there's stuff happening in a 1300 meters yeah, distance. Gonna, uh, Not really the distance that I want to fire my missiles on. Um, mostly because I can't. Mostly because I wouldn't hit anything. But I want to help out there. So let's see if we can somehow get to the skirmishes. A bunch of them have ECM. And uh, they are not under the UAV anymore. But there's a guy coming. Hello. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on. Yes! Let's give him hell, especially those nasty assassins. Next up is that guy. Also one shot. Come on. Yeah. Let's give him hell. So we got some damage on the assassins there, but that's about it. Vulcan up top? Yeah. I mean, 800 meters, disengaging. I'm not gonna shoot that. Hi, little one. Okay, so big rated deprivation skills. Um, yeah, that doesn't help really. However, we are getting struck by artillery. So this guy is still being tracked by some of our friends. 
We still have a UAV on. Yeah, they need help. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. He's under the UAV. We're just gonna completely unload our missiles on the Balkan. Okay, he dodged it again. And it seems like everybody is trying to get the skirmishers out of the game before dealing with the main force. And I think it makes a lot of sense. So let's let's try to get to them somehow, somewhere. Okay, so turning around, main force is under distress. Somebody saying something about gods. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I saw somebody there. Look at him. 800 oh, meters yet again. Not the best target, but it is something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get out of here. We have a hellfire with us. Who is helping the hellfire? Eh, not really not really possible for me to hit anything. Let's position first and then we're gonna do something else. Okay, here are our friends. And as if if we can take them quickly, it would help so much because Oh god, this is such a bad position for me. Such a bad position. Okay, okay, Mr. Panther. Um, yeah, my, my um, ECM is being... Uh, sorry, my my locks are being countered with enemy ECM. Gotta take those out quickly. Fireball is there. Fireball is trying to get out of it. Sure. And again, the thing is, I can take damage. I'm a second liner anyway. So no big problem with that. However, if I'm center of attention, I don't like it. Fireball yet again. Keep going. Keep shooting. Let's do it. Trying to be in the second line of this. Oh boy. It's a 2-2 two two situation. And we got the fireball. But look at this cluster of smaller mechs. It's not great, guys. It's not great at all. I want to try to get in there, though, to help out. And I mean, I mean light mechs. Shooting light mechs is not great at all. Because their hitboxes are so small. I'm going to go for the bigger ones. Um, they're so small that um, it's, it's really hard to get something. Something done there. No, the missiles will spread mostly to the ground. It's not really great. The heavy Gauss rifle being completely suppressed here by my missiles is super good, though. So let's go for it. Hello, Victor. Let me kill you. That'd be great. Got him. All right, turning around again. Enemy still behind us. What a weird game. Actually, no. Let's go to Theta. Because at Theta, there's something happening. Let's go to Theta, guys. Uh, that's a UAV. Okay, I don't really care about that UAV. Who's that guy? That was an assault mech, by the way. Okay, let's try to get up here. There are missiles coming. Alright, so that's gonna be a push. Yeah, it seems like we have a push happening here. Alright, missiles versus missiles. This guy is running LRM-10s as well as laser AMS. He has an AMS. Nasty! Surveillance. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. It's a 5 and 5 situation and I think we are actually running out of missiles here. Doesn't look great. Cool thing about it is we are fighting as well as capturing at the same time with the build. So that's really nice. Okay, so we lost Lark again. Now it's time to try to go for the Spiderling. Oh yeah, come to me, buddy. Dead? No, not quite. Oh, he's so red though. Ah, that was wasted. Come on, get the spider. Finally. Haha, <laughs> alright. Seven and six. Somebody is capturing Absalon. Where is the rest of the enemies? Seems like all of the remaining light mechs are there. Wow. Just wow. And again, we have a seven and six situation and I am really running low on missiles, so that's not great. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to... We're gonna try to take this guy. You're not as protected as you think you are. And you can hear, here you can see, most of the missiles were actually hitting the ground. Okay. Get the Panther. Good job. Urban mech down. No, he's not quite down. Is he gonna peek around? He's gonna peek around. Perfect. Um, I don't think that we need to do anything here with the missile, so we can just take that. And then ER medium lasers on the flea. Holy crap. Is he still gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still gonna counter peek. We have a flea here. He's fleeing. <laughs> Is it time to actually cap? Because we are kind of behind in terms of our capture power. I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, if we want to win this game, we better, better get some capturing going. At the same time, this assassin. Holy crap. My range is 900 meters. I gotta try to help here. It's Voltron! Oh, but he is lagged. Oh, I didn't really need to shoot that. So, somebody is at Epsilon already. Uh, there's a stealth flea somewhere. And then something else. Alright, I'm gonna 
try to get there, but I'm not sure if I can. Also, I only have 50 missiles left. 54 missiles. And our friend, our assassin friend is just dropping. Just dropping, dropping, dropping. On the other side of the battlefield, do you have this under control? You certainly do. You absolutely do. Okay, okay, okay. So Epsilon is being captured now. Uh, the flea fight is just completely getting away from me. Get the leg. Oh no, you didn't. Where did he go? We need to go to Kilo, uh, Kappa, Kappa Kilo, Kilo Kappa. And I will try, I will try to, um, cut the path of the flea. Let's check it out, guys. I mean, we have the capture advantage, that's great. We have three capture points, they have two capture points, and we are about... Yeah, are we about Probably to win this? The long way around the seven line. Uh, okay, the seven line, long way around. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna just capture Kappa now. I think we're gonna win this through the caps. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, now he's at Kappa. He's sitting there. All right. LRM's down. We are down to the lasers. Does he defend that? We lagged him! We lagged him! All right, right torso is critical though. Yeah, he got it. Yeah, 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 he was waiting for it. He was certainly waiting for it. Oh, there's RD strikes coming down. Yeah, but he's not gonna get me. Not from this position. All right, this is so fun. <laughs> Little flea versus the mad dog. But I only have I only have two lasers. Oh, three lasers. Come on, one shot. Side torso. No, it's not mine. Solar rain got him in the end. But what a crazy fight was that? So much so much early game skirmish so different from what you normally have and i like the back and forth and i like finding my position in this one here it was absolutely great i was having a blast in this one here crazy game absolutely yeah we had one killing blow we had 11 assists three kill most damage dealt 759 damage done 398 taken as well as three components destroyed and that was the first one let's go over to the next and see how this will go down all right, second game of the day. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. We are playing Skirmish, and it seems like we have not a single assault mech. So that's gonna be interesting, I would say. And um, I have no idea where to go, actually. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're gonna try to get somehow on the high ground. Ah, there we go. Man, these ramps are mean, they're nasty, they're really hard to get to. Especially in the spawn that we had there. But anyway, it seems like everybody is going like super fast to the center because obviously everybody is super fast. I have no big guys that I can work with, seemingly. I asked, oh god, that's an atlas. Okay. I do want to stay on the high ground, but there is so much. There is so, so much happening. And uh, we are down in the trench again, so that's not great. Let's try to figure out how to get on uh, into the fight again, but this ramp seems doable. All right. Seems not good because everybody is going to NASCAR like, like crazy. Like absolutely crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here. Because I cannot catch up with them anymore. What I can do is this. I can just go for the Nova Cat and just help him out with some indirect fire support. Gotta make sure that I'm not exposing myself. That's a lot of lerms on the Nova Cat as well. And it seems like they are coming for me. Oh no, they are just not coming for me. They are rotating like crazy. Hi, Griffin. This is it. We gotta have to wait for the full rotation to be, to be done. Oh no, don't attract fire, buddy. It's a component destroyed. We got a kill. Wow. Staying in cover, guys. That's how we're going to win this. I. What? Tactical positioning. Wow. I, I did not expect that. We are in the backs of all of those guys. And the rotation is just killing every single one of them. Linebacker coming in, second round. All right. Let's go for Mr. Linebacker up there. And we're gonna deal so much damage to him. Yes? That's it? That's how we win this. They're just completely unaware. Oh, I'm also unaware that there's an enemy right next to me. I'm, I'm actually forced out of my positioning. Am I? I mean, yeah, there's a stealthy guy, right? 
Okay, 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 fine. So we gotta go. Um, I'm trying to push forward, by the way. Didn't come out. Eh? Okay. Mr. Griffin is gonna get shot by my missiles. Great, and now we have the stealth guy on our tail. So, again, we gotta move. Uh, ah, man, this, this position is really bad. It's a seven and one that we have here. Getting another kill casually. Oh, hello. I can point blank you. Hi. This is Cicada and Delta 3. And I would say we just won it. We just won it by rotating and fire supporting. There he is again. Uh, come on, push up there. Buddy. Man, the mobility of this guy is uh, so weird, man. So damn weird. All right, so where is the Cicada? Did he just get destroyed? No, he did not. He is still hiding there in the back. So we're gonna try to get an angle on him. We're gonna try to get a lock on him with our tag. So here we go. Oh yeah, and he's not really able to move anywhere. And we got another kill. Holy crap. Last guy, Echo 3, fresh assault. Sounds bad, man. Sorry to hear that. Um... Yeah, that's bad when somebody's AFK or disconnected and you could have really used them. But again, I think our positioning was was just good. It was just absolutely fantastic. Oh, 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 he's not. He's not not. Uh-oh, no, he is not AFK. He's there. Hi. <laughs> All right, SRM uh, was a gargoyle, you say? And I say, eat my missiles! And my lasers. Everything. Yeah, he's just gonna probably get destroyed by everybody else. But that... Actually... Maybe not. Maybe not. We have an angle again. But down he goes. Wow, what a game, guys. I did not expect that. I was like, okay, we are completely getting out rotated. But if you see something happen like that and you cannot follow... You better get a nice outward position, outskirt position, and just deal so much damage to everybody who is showing you their backs. We got four killing blows, five assists, we got two KMDDs, 868 damage, we took 130, we got seven components destroyed. And then, my friends, what's your daily dose for, to get, for today, even? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel for more daily content, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.